Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to discuss about the roots. We know that a typical plant has been classified into two important systems. What are those? The root system and the shoot system. First, in this video, we will be starting our discussion with the root system. So let's start or introduce ourselves to the roots. Let's see what are roots. Roots, we know these are the underground structures which are present below the soil and typically they have got cylindrical structure. They are in the shape of a cylinder. So as you can see over here, they are cylindrical in structure. This is a typical structure of a root which is growing from a germinating seed. Now we know when a seed germinates, that means what do we mean by germination? Germination means under favorable conditions like water, sunlight, air the seed starts forming a new plants, right? So while a seed germinates, two small structures arise. What are the, these two structures? The first one is the radical and the second is the plumule. Now the roots are arising from the radical structure. And what is the radical? This portion which goes vertically downwards into the soil is known as the radical and this gives rise to the roots. Roots, they lack leaves. They do not have nodes and internodes and also do not possess buds. So what are nodes? Nodes are junctions or structures which are mostly found in the stem. Now the space or the area between two nodes is known as the internodes. And what are buds? Buds we know these are the reduced or the condensed structure which later on gives rise to various structures in the stem like flowers, fruits, leaves. So those are the buds. A very important characteristics of the roots are they are positively geotrophic. What do you mean by geotrophic? That means geo means earth, right? So they likes to move towards the earth. So they likes to move underground into the soil. So they are positively geotrophic. They possess roots and also its branches. As you can see, this is the main root and it has got branches also. Now, these roots, they are colorless. Why? Because they do not have the color giving pigments like chlorophyll we know the stem in the in various parts of the stem mostly leaves they possess the chlorophyll which is a very important structure for the formation of for the process of photosynthesis but these roots they lack chlorophyll that's the reason they are mostly colorless the roots they have got a root cap and that is present at the apex so this is the tip portion of the apex so mostly these are the areas where it is covered or protected by the root cap. They have got branches which are very importantly endogenous. So what do we mean by endogenous? Here you can see the branched uh, structure of the roots. So small branches have come out and their endogenous means they are arising from internal regions, not external. So they are endogenous. They possess unicellular root hairs. Very interestingly, these branches, they have got very small, small, minute hair like structures. So these are known as the root hairs and the interesting part of the root hairs is these structures they are all unicellular tubular structures. So each of the root hairs they are made up of single cells. So they are unicellular. Now what is the primary function of the or the basic function of the roots? The basic function of the roots we know they help in fixing the plants with the soil. This why is this done? This is done in order to prevent the damage or prevent the falling of the plants due to wind, due to water, due to flowing water and heavy winds, rainfall. So they help in fixing the plant with the soil. In addition to that, another important activity played by the roots are to absorb water and minerals from the soil. So this is a very important uh, activity that is played by the roots because these water and minerals, they are the raw materials for the process of photosynthesis. And because of photosynthesis, the plants make food for themselves. So in this video, we have introduced ourselves to the structure which is known as roots, which are positively geotropic and found mostly below the soil. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.